In this video, we'll work on Ruth chapter 1, verses 5 and 6. No issues. Generated text is identical. Okay, to have. Okay, I don't think we'll need this rule. So Naomi didn't have her sons and her husband. Naomi didn't have her sons or her husband. Okay, in the analysis we say and. Naomi didn't here. Let's go to initialize. Naomi, polarity is negative, didn't have her sons and her husband. But in English, that's odd to say and here. When the verb's polarity is negative and there are conjoined objects, object phrases, we change the and to an or. So let's write a rule to do that. That will be, okay, that'll be a conjunction issue. And is a conjunction, and we don't have a, a group yet for conjunction issues, so let's enter a new one. And it's nice to keep these in order. Let's put this up here. We. We have nouns. If there were a group for verbs, we'd put it here. Nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, adpositions, conjunctions. So conjunction issues. So this will be based on conjunctions. Okay. Okay, here. Okay. Okay, these aren't objects, these are obliques. For have, we're going to use the, the semantic rule of state. Um, I'm going to leave this name the same, still, still object noun phrases, because we will have other places where we'll want this rule to apply to objects. But for right now, we're going to write a rule that applies to state noun phrases. So let's put in a verb phrase with a verb, a noun phrase, and another noun phrase with and. Okay, joins two or more propositions. We want this sense of and, joins two or more noun phrases. Okay, so the verb's polarity has to be negative or emphatic negative. And this will be a state first coordinate, this will be a state, the last coordinate, and they're joined with and. So we want to change the and to an or, like that. Okay. Generated text is identical. Okay, that's all for this verse. Generated text is identical. Let's save it and go to verse 6. Okay, here, to hear that some event happened. Okay, the king heard that. So let's insert a complementizer. No subject raised. We don't need to change the, the surface realization of the agent noun phrase or the target tense and form. Okay, let's let's simplify this a bit. Naomi heard. Okay. Okay, care. Okay, put care in the document. Um, this really should be, in English, we say take care of. So I want to edit this. Take care of. 
post-verbal modifier. Okay, took. Has taken. Okay, taking care of, takes care of. Okay, for the theta grid adjustment rule. The mother took care of the baby for the daughter. Let's say oblique one, four, Okay, the people of Yahweh, Yahweh's people. Okay, uh, we would say Yahweh's angel, Yahweh's command, Yahweh's law. So these would be Saxon genitives. Let's set the first one. Copy that to all of them. Later, if we decide we want one or a few of these to be a Norman genitive, maybe spirit of Yahweh, maybe. Uh, when we come to an example, we'll, we'll, we might change this from Saxon genitive to Norman genitive. For now, let's set all of these to Saxon genitives. Generate text is identical. Generated text is identical. Okay, return. Okay, returned from Moab to Bethlehem. Let's put the source noun phrase first with from. The destination noun phrase second with to. Generated text is identical. Okay. It's actually correct to have the dashes in there. Um, I entered it into the Word document wrong, so I'm going to correct it here. Ignore this character. Countable, common, feminine person. It's actually daughters in law. And let's correct this as well. Generated text is identical. That's the last sentence. Generated text is identical. Let's save it. And now we're ready to work on Ruth 1 7.